Alright, so I'm going to do a uh, bowl of pasta today with anchovies, tomatoes, chilies, vegetables. I actually recorded this same recipe the other day, but as it was recording my camera froze up, my phone froze up. It doesn't beep or anything, but I had run out of memory on my, my camera because I wasn't deleting I wasn't deleting old videos so this is the second attempt at this same one So it's all quite straightforward. It will cook in the time the the um, it'll be quicker even than the time it takes for the pasta to boil. That's kind of what I um, aim for when I do pasta dishes. You know, do they cook in the same length of time as it takes to do the uh, as it takes to cook the pasta? So this recipe came from Nigella. Lawson and um, she called it's, it's called a stupid name. She she called it this stupid name, and I don't really like saying it, so I don't want to call it that. But uh, what she calls it. So if you wanted to find the original recipe, you can look it up. You can go and look at Nigella's one. It's called she called it Sluts Spaghetti. And I'm not using spaghetti, I'm just using pasta, but I don't really like having to say that. I'm not going to keep saying that over and over, so just type in to the internet Nigella slut recipe and it'll come up with stuff. And if you want to find the original one, now the point of her recipe was that it used store covered ingredients. So she used tinned tomatoes, I don't think she used much vegetables, um, dried herbs, I think, and dried chilies. I'm using dried chilies. But I kind of prefer the fresh vegetables and fresh tomatoes, and I'm not using spaghetti, but um, you get the kind of the idea from it. Uh, but this is kind of derived from that. So when it comes to anchovies, I've got these jars, a, a jar of anchovy fillets, and whenever Jamie Oliver's cooking up anchovies, he's always saying, um, he's always saying, just add them, don't worry about it, you won't taste it. It gives a background kind of hum, but I'm the opposite. I really like the taste of the anchovies and I'm going to I'm going to put some in at the beginning but then I'm going to put some in right at the end as well because I just like the flavour so much I love the salty intense flavour you get from them so I'm using the oil from the anchovies to start with and we shall chop these up And that is a third of a jar, so from that jar I get three portions, three portions of this. Uh, I've made the same thing three times. So I'm going to put a wee handful in just now. So they'll cook right through into the body of the sauce and you'll get that anchovy flavour deep into the sauce. And then I'm going to add these chopped ones right at the end. So you get that intense kind of salty lumps. I want to, I want to eat the wee lumps of anchovy. So... So by saying, you know, put in anchovies but don't worry you won't taste them, I'm, I'm the opposite, I want to taste them, I think that's the best bet, that's what makes it, it gives it a rich, intense saltiness, which I really, which I really like. Uh, red pepper, so you can be putting any vegetables into this at all really, um, mushrooms, aubergines, that kind of thing. Um, Put some peas in it as well. But I gel is one, the point of it was it was store cupboard, not fresh stuff. But I've kind of taken that idea and used fresh stuff with it. Which 
is very good. turned it on yet. I'll add in a wee bit of extra extra virgin olive oil as well. Takes quite a lot of oil this uh, frying. It's good. Um, it's good quality. It's the it's, it's extra virgin olive oil. You shouldn't really use to cook with but it doesn't matter. If you've got normal just good olive oil use that instead. Some beef recipes coming up next. I'm not quite sure what to do yet though. So yet another recipe that's just a good load of vegetables all into one portion. It reminds me of the casino when I do this. Losing all my money. Actually, I'm just chucking a um, chucking a handful of peas as well. Why not? As well. Could put onion in it, I suppose, as well, but um, yeah, I just kind of prefer it without. This is going to cook so quickly, I haven't even started it yet. Because if you've seen my other videos, you'll know my thoughts on uh, cooking pasta. I don't care if it overcooks. Um, I don't really like these salad onions, they're a bit bland and a bit watery and tasteless. But uh, it was all they had, they didn't have the um, they didn't have the, the baby plum tomatoes which are the best ones. So I'm going to use dried chilli powder. Uh, this is Aleppo chilli that somebody gave me. It's quite nice. Just stick that in there. Good bit of that. You can use any kind of chilies. You could use fresh chilies, but I don't have any, so those are good. Um, garlic as well. So lots of anchovies, lots of garlic. So nice and rich and salty. Oh, there's a whole bunch of Nigella recipes that have started to come up on YouTube now. Quite like Nigella, she's pretty good. Some quite good ideas. These packets are not good value at all. I mean, 80 pence for that, and I mean, I could use the whole packet in one portion quite easily. It's probably relatively the most expensive bit of the whole meal. This, these parts. I really need to go to the, the other shop and get them um, and get the uh, uh, the big bunches of parsley, the big giant bunches. 
because it does encourage you to eat more as well. Because I could put three, three times the amount of this parsley into this portion, it would be absolutely fine. Into this one portion. So turn this on now. Um, actually, what I'll do is, before I start, I'll just toast up a few pine nuts. most expensive thing so yeah by the time I toast them up and then start frying everything should, should come together oh, not very clean, is it? so yeah Jamie yeah it's, you know Jamie Oliver's kind of always quite cautious about the way he talks about anchovies saying yeah just add them don't worry you won't taste it but I love the taste of them so that's the best bet so that's the kind of the, the essence of this dish I really like the anchovies I really like the, the salty uh, wee chunks I'm not a huge fan though of fish sauce I've got some a bottle of fish sauce in there but it's different it's not quite the same I tend to not really use the fish sauce that often um, but the anchovy is really really good just got to keep your eye on these because there'll be nothing 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 and then they'll go black so you got to To do now, really. Starting to sizzle. Once they get a wee touch of colour on them, just take them off, just gets the oils out, freshens them up a wee bit, livens them up. Stick them on at the end. So yeah, any other vegetables, mushrooms, aubergines, green beans, monge too, all these kind of things. Anything at all really, any kind of soft vegetable. We'll go into this nicely. I'm gonna put a, I'll put a pinch of pepper in. I'll put a wee bit of salt in, just a small pinch because the anchovies take care of the saltiness I've had this pan for years, I hardly ever use it but it's really good Nice and big so it stops all the spray. And it's got a flat, a nice flat thick base. Just take some of that down a little bit. smell. The anchovy, as soon as that garlic hits, it's just really, really good. Really nice smell. Nice intense flavours. So 
So this would be vegan and vegetarian if it wasn't for the anchovies. I think I might start saying that now. So if I wee touch of the pasta water into it. All that pasta's all done. Slows things down a wee bit, helps to steam it, creates a nice wee sauce. I think that's about done actually, I'll not call that down. Switch that off as well. So you see it takes no time at all to cook, you know. What I mean? Still got a wee bit of texture on the courgettes. Just bung it them in. Yeah, this pan is really good. It really holds the heat. And there, I'll drop these in as well. So I'm just kind of, so you get these wee bombs of intense anchovy and salt flavour. So good. through and the pasta soaks up all that sauce created from all the olive oil and the bit of water and the anchovy oil as well so it's really the opposite of what people will tell you it's really bigging up the anchovies so you've got your vegetables you've got your olive oil carbohydrates for the pasta it's all good stuff Nice colours. Again, using this rubber spatula. Don't waste anything. Completely clean the pan. Nice and quiet as well. Use a metal spoon on this. It's really noisy, clanking away. I like quiet. And that's quite hot at the moment, obviously. So you can do all your washing up before you before you start eating. So, as per usual, <coughs> a plate of food in a clean kitchen. So that's done. So that's your, I'm not going to say the Nigella name, you can look that up yourself. Um, but pasta, anchovies, tomatoes, vegetables. It's really, really good. <coughs> 